Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness. I'm Wes Gardner, known as Kami the Hobo on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube. Looking forward to jumping in. Welcome to the Let's Play Project. I'm excited, man. I'm a huge Star Ocean fan. Star Ocean, the second story, may be one of my favorite games of all time. Well, it definitely is one of my favorite games of all time. I just like the Star Ocean series. Even Star Ocean 4 didn't get all that great of a reception. I enjoyed it. I thought the cutscenes were kind of hokey. But love Star Ocean 2. Played First Departure, the PSP remake of Star Ocean 1. Love that. Beat Star Ocean 3. I mean, I have just a love for this series. And I know this game's kind of getting a weird rap lately. But let's dive in. Let's just dig in. Oh, try Ace logo. See, so just seeing that brings back memories. <laughs> Star Ocean soundtrack style. See, that's how you do a title card. Good times. Good times. Let's see gonna adjust some sound real quick hope that kind of does this we're, we're recording live so I'm hoping the sound balances out and let's do that let's uh, about right there got to get everything acquainted so yeah we're going for it live man um, we're gonna do a new game standard level of difficulty those who want a decent challenge Earth mode is for players who are new to games with real-time action battle mechanics, or simply who want to enjoy the story. Um, apparently the game doesn't take very long to beat. Apparently we got about 20 hours worth of content-ish, so let's play it on Galaxy. That way we can really kind of get our money's worth. I, I don't know if the game does a new game plus or not. It could. That'd be cool. Oh snap, so it goes right into the battle tutorial. Yes. Let's do it. Let's figure this out. Okay. Um, characters move that way. All the way to run or push it slightly to walk. You may also dash by holding O. Then walk by holding square. And you can't walk during the battle. Oh, okay. That's just basic. Use a camera angle. Push down on it to reset the angle behind your character. Okay. So this is kind of like Star Ocean 3. A little like Star Ocean 3 then. Responsive control. Okay. Quickly. Um, okay, so X is a weak attack and O does a strong attack. Got this. Hang on, on your character's distance. Oh yeah, so this is kind of the rock, paper, scissors style. Um... 
multiple targets. Okay, so the L1 and R1 swap. targeting system is manual by default. I might just keep it manual. I like having that control, you know. Let's see. Here you go. Let's go for this. Poor Ted. Press square during battle to guard against weak attacks. Okay. Weak attacks, strong attacks, and guarding. Yeah, okay, so rock, paper, scissors. Hey, they actually reference it. <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors. Weak attacks can interrupt strong. Strong can break enemies' guard. And then guarding can stop weak attacks and lead to counterattacks. Okay. An aura will appear around them before a strong attack. Gotcha. Press square at the right time after guarding an attack. Gotcha. That's how you wanna play? Okay. Hold down either X or O to attack the enemy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so I can set the battle skills just like Normal. Seriously? Huh. I'd say that should about do it for training. How about we take a lap around the village? So I'm digging how the game looks. Like, I like the, uh... Five whole years have passed since you took over for your father. So much has changed in that time. You like the color so? and what's more, the how vibrant everything is. A real scary place now. Word is the people slain by monsters and bandits are innumerable. <sighs> so I've heard. It's all so different. I just. I hope your dad's okay. Trust me, you don't need to worry about him. We've been able to turn a blind eye to these atrocities so far. But how long until Stahl is attacked? So apparently one of the bigger controversies, I guess you could say, about this game is there's no cutscenes. Everything happens in real time, kind of how that happened. Hi, cat. Wow. Let's go. So, and I, you know, after Star Ocean 4, I can't blame them for not doing cutscenes, because the cutscenes in Star Ocean 4 were kind of terrible. Like, I love me some Star Ocean, but man, those were... Oh, like the one after, spoiler alert, Earth blows up. Like, hilarious in more ways than one. Here's everybody. Is that the set? Are they twins? I think they're twins. Over here. Was that a... Look at the fur on that cat. Look at that. Huh. But eek! I just passed through her body. <laughs> Don't have a cleaning. That's right. You're useless to one of us around. Uh-oh. Rude. See what's over here. Yeah, I mean, this is a good-looking game. You know, like the birds kind of going overhead there. The bird, seeing those birds actually reminds me of Star Ocean 2. Whenever you first get to the uh, main town with Rena, and birds fly overhead on the parallax map. Blew my mind as a kid, man. I was like, this is so real, there's birds and animals. But overall, I like the look of this. Like, I like the look of the game. What's he saying? Slow days like this. 
So I think what this game is going to remind me of, because a lot of the complaints were, oh, it's a kind of a shorter game time, uh, the world kind of feels not necessarily super hey, alive. Doesn't that look like Miki to you? Miki? Is Miki really 18 already? <laughs> she looks way more mature than I did at her age. Oh my. I don't know. I've always considered her a little sister. I can only think of her as a kid. Let's see what she's up to. Side note, that whole like, oh, a young adult, barely the age of consent stuff weirds me out. <laughs> In Japanese games, it's just, oh, it's a weird culture thing. But anyway, I think what this game is going to remind me of is the Dot Hack series. Because those dungeons didn't have a lot of life to them, but I still had a lot of fun playing that game. So... That's what I'm hoping for. Minimap, minimap, minimap. Okay. What's going on? I... I thought I saw some people off in the distance. Some people? I assume so. And I was curious since everyone's saying how dangerous things are now. Right there. <laughs> Just hanging out. Whoa, Hi, guys. No way. Your suspicions were right. Talk about being fishy. There's no way anyone could mistake them for stallions. What do we do? Do you have any ideas? Let's go to the mayor and think of a plan together. Come on. Oh, I mean, you're okay with letting them go? They'll just run away if we try to capture them. So what's the point? Don't you think it'd be better to prepare for an attack? <laughs> you're the heir to the Camus School of Swordsmanship, all right. You have the commander's instincts of your dad. Thanks, bro. So they're just literally just hanging out there like the girls in The Shining. All right. So I guess we go talk to the mayor. And by the way, this walk right here, I think... That's that walk or like a sprite of this has been in every Star Ocean game. The kind of hunched over, bad back style. Pardon me if I find your tale of enemy scouts a little hard to swallow. I'm not lying. So, who is it you think we're dealing with? Adalon. Adalon? You mean those vile bandits who are more monsters than men? In reality, they're a veritable natural disaster. They're so destructive that five years ago, my dad was asked to travel the country. Why? To specifically teach locals how to defend themselves against these degenerates. We're done for! How could we ever hope to do anything against those savages? Mr. Mayor, but this is all too far over my head. I don't know the first thing about fighting. Mr. Mayor! Please, calm down. You're this village's leader. You have to be its proverbial rock. I'll be the one to lead our people in battle. But Fidley! Well, it's not like anyone else is stepping forward. Might as well be him. I beg you, Fidel. Please deliver our home from certain... Fidley? <sighs> I'll give it everything I've got. So that was some, uh exposition right there.